Recent rumors have the Samsung Galaxy S8 pointing to a display without bezels. The LG G6 then takes the rumor mill with a probable glass-on-glass -glass design, and Snapdragon is now officially capable of running Windows 10. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, yeah, pretty much everything that's rumored for 2017 has taken over the news already. This is Parker Now Daily. The official news today begin with new organizations. The Global Virtual Reality Association is now in full effect. It's just started by HTC, Samsung, Acer, Oculus, and pretty much all the heavy hitters that are already providing virtual reality headsets. And the whole purpose for this company or association, should we call it, is to lay down the rules for what VR headsets should do and the standards and everything. This is great. It's great for things to get organized. Let's just wait. They start by making these things lighter. Other official news have to do with the Black Pearl Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It is now official in select markets. The funny part is that these select markets are not mentioned yet. What we do know is that there will be an exclusive 128 gigabyte option that's also expandable. But again, we're not even sure if this thing is going to launch in the United States. So stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. Now let's move the spotlight over to the really cool news. Microsoft and Qualcomm have announced that Windows 10 is now capable of running on ARM chips. There is a Snapdragon processor that will be capable of doing this as of next year. This means a ton of things. Obviously, I'm not saying that uh, I would really like Windows 10 in its full way to work on mobile, but given the fact that Windows 10 mobile really needs a boost into popularity and less of a convoluted operation, this makes a lot of sense. It also makes a lot of sense for less expensive tablets. Let's just see what we get. Now let's talk about some of the flagships that we are expecting to get next year. The LG G6 has taken the spotlight, mainly because the company really needs to regain its limelight. Now we hear some very interesting changes, no modularity. We're actually talking about a glass-on-glass -glass design with this phone. We heard the rumors that there isn't a removable battery, so this makes a lot of sense. We also heard water resistance, so this makes a lot of sense. You know what the cool part is? That apparently the headphone jack is not going anywhere. We'll keep you posted. And finally, the interesting news that they have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and corroboration for the rumors that we heard yesterday. We've got a more trusted source now claiming pretty much that we're getting just a single lens camera and that the display is apparently gonna take over the whole design of the S8 Edge or whatever this device is going to be. Now, apparently, yes, this home button is going away. It's gonna be part of the display, but it seems that this will be a bezel-less display. That would be a very beautiful thing, but given the fact that Samsung has had a very hard time with experimentation lately, we wonder if this is really gonna happen. So it leads me to the question of today. Uh, do you think that it's a smart move for Samsung to go all out with the drawing board here and come up with a really innovative Galaxy S8? Or do you think that the company should lay low and keep it safe and regain its limelight with everything that happened with the Note 7? In my case, oh, I look up to Samsung for innovation. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video was filmed, follow us on PocketNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.